Hey, Josh, how are you? All good. How about you? Yeah, pretty good. So back to quantitative trading. And in the last session, we actually looked at realized and unrealized returns. Do you still remember the difference between realized and unrealized returns? Like the, the realized returns are the returns that we yeah make, so to say, that we really have in reality. And the unrealized returns are like the returns that we didn't realize, so to say. Um, but we could have realized them. Yeah, exactly. So so it's basically before we close out the trade, we already have some returns. And in fact, when uh, when you do quantitative analysis of trading strategies, generally the unrealized returns are the more important ones. Often people think that when you uh, the realized returns, where is my mo <laughs> when do I make the money? That's important. Well, it is, of course, but if you actually analyze a strategy and you, you test the strategy, most of the time you work almost entirely uh, with uh, unrealized returns. So they're actually pretty important because in some sense, the unrealized returns, you know, they do include uh, realized returns as well be because when you don't have a trade, right, you just simply got a, a flat line and then when you do have a trade on, like you've got something uh, going on. So it's it's really the unrealized returns that matter probably the most. And um, that's good to remember. So let's let's have a look and check out how we um, how we calculate unrealized returns. Uh, I know you already had a go at it. And as you probably have noticed, it's pretty tricky, right? It's not um, it's not straightforward. Well, it is actually straightforward, but when you haven't done it before, you go and like, mm, what's going on? <laughs> so, um, um, let let's let's try to do it. So, last time we already uh, created a uh, list here called unrealized, and what we should also maybe do is we just create another list called unrealized uh, in dates, right? Um, so we just conveniently uh, create a list with uh, the dates of the unrealized returns because it just makes our life a bit easier. And so what's an unrealized return? Uh, when you think about it, so, so when we deconstruct it, 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 it's really the return from one time period that we look at uh, to the next uh, times the position that we're in, right? That's It's actually pretty easy. So if we in a long position, right? It's it it's like say from the, the the return from one day to the next. And if we're in a long position, you know, it's times one. If you're in a short position, it's times minus one. In 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 in, in simple terms. Okay. So that that that's pretty much our uh, unrealized return. And then all we have to do is uh, just just record that. Right. And and the way uh the way we can do this is we can, let's just go, um, just do this, our price minus uh, yesterday's price, right? Uh, so which is uh, spy.close.i uh, log of i minus one, yeah? Mm -hmm. So that's yesterday's price. And then what we need to do, if we want a, a percentage, we do uh, divided by, what do we divide it by? A hundred? No. No? We divide by yesterday's price because this is the difference of the price. <laughs> and if we want to normalize it as a percentage return, yeah. <laughs> We have to divide it by yesterday's price. So we go spy dot close dot i log i minus one. Now you could simplify this simply by saying price divided by spy dot close dot i log i minus one minus one, right? So mm -hmm. you're basically uh because that's a that's a sum divided by this. So you could basically do uh if if you if you jiggle the equation around, you could just go spy uh, price dot dot or 
today's price divided by yesterday's price because when you when you change over the equation you go s minus uh, spiral i log my minus one divided by spiral i log minus one right so it's just one so you go price divided by this minus one mm -hmm. it's just a simple other way to do it but one thing we need to do we need to multiply that by our position yeah because um if you know this if we're long this will basically then give us um this will give us uh you know spy minus this or today minus yesterday if we're short it should be the other way around yesterday minus today so so if we have minus one then this basically turns it around if we're not in mm -hmm. a position this is zero and we don't have any uh unrealized returns all right does that make sense to you i think so like 100 percent. i'm not sure <laughs> all um, right okay 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 well well that's cool um so so effectively this is just as the same as we did down here right mm -hmm. so we go uh price which is today's uh, price minus the entry price so in unrealized returns the entry price is literally just the price of the previous period because we go from one period to the next period okay and then we divide it by the previous period mm -hmm. and so you remember when we did this in pause when we're long we're basically going today's price minus yesterday's price when we're short it's the reverse yesterday price minus today's price okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so in pause is either plus one or minus one yeah mm -hmm. so if we had mm -hmm. this minus one all that would do is effectively turn this around so if if it was if we didn't have in pause here and we wanted to uh to do this as a short we could do this right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this is just effectively the same as multiplying it by minus one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, that's why all we do is we multiply it by impulse. It's an extremely convenient way mm -hmm. to switch between long and short. Do you think for the short, we may have to um, actually divide by today's price? What's your what's your what's your opinion on that? Mm, I wouldn't say so. You're right basically yesterday's price is the reference price you know it's just a uh, you know we you know we we always want to uh, do a price change from from yesterday till till today right so so yesterday's price is just simply the reference price that's why we keep divided always by yesterday um okay. so so it think about it's it's a little bit the way the reason why i'm asking you is, is like how you think about it and what what you're basically saying is, well, yesterday is the reference of 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 our price change, right? So we have a price change, right? This goes one way or the other, depending if we're long or short. But yesterday is still always the reference price. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Now, now that's that's it. Yeah.